Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, we continue solving the programming challenges in the book Starting Out with Java. And we are in chapter 6. The problem we are today solving is called uh, Land Tract Class. So basically we have to compare two land uh, sizes. And um, our job is to create a Land Tract uh, Class and then um, the land tract class uh, should have two fields, length and width, and it, it also has to have a two, uh, two methods, um, area to get the area of the land, and to string to display uh, the information about the land. It also has to have a, a method that compares um, the two lands, uh, we have to compare it. Uh, we have to create a method that compares the two land. Uh, then, after we finish this uh, this uh, class, we have to create a program that asks the user uh, for the width, the length, and the for for width for both uh, lands, and then display whether they are equal size or they are different size. So uh, let's begin with the with the fields. We have to create the two fields. I already created, as you can see, the land tract class. Then after that, we say private int length, private int width. Then we say private int area. To get the area, you don't actually you don't actually need this. Um, then we have to create a constructor for the class land tract. The constructor takes int length and it takes uh, width. And we say this. This would refer to to the fields of the of the class say length equal L this width equal W uh, after that uh, we have to get the, the area of the land and we say public int get area and the area is simple we we'll return length times width after that we have to compare the two lands and the way we can do that is to create equals method say public uh, boolean equals it will take uh, the object land tract as an argument then we have to say um, You have to compare it like return length equals lt length and width equal lt width or um, or width no or length equal lt width and width equal lt width so if any of the uh, length or width is is the same of the two uh, lands two land objects then this method will return true otherwise it will return false after that we have to create a two string method to display um, information about uh, the land object. We say to string. Uh, this would come up if you are using IntelliJ. I don't want to pre-populate pre anything, so I just want to uh, uncheck this uh, this check mark, to check mark, and then click OK. Then we will say 
the land track track length is is then say length the new line and the width is let me say width and then is say uh, is say and the area is get area so it's just to display whatever information the user enters so the land we will we will display the length and the width and the area uh, in each line each line what the when the user calls so they said we have to create a program to demonstrate um, this this class so we finished uh, this this class so we have to create a main method and if you are using IntelliJ, all you have to do is uh, PSVM, type that, then enter, uh, then they will complete it for you. So we have to ask the user for the width. To do that, we have to create a scanner object. And, and then we have to ask the user um, Enter length for uh, land one. Then we say length one. Let's see. Then we say enter width for uh, land one. Then int width with one sc next int. Then we we basically re, uh, before we we re, we copy and paste we have to uh, create a land tract object l one new land tract. Then our object takes length and width. Then we have to get uh, the area we have to get the area area 1 uh, L1 get area and after that we have to copy have to copy this uh, uh, this lines to ask the second uh, land information will say interlength for land two and the width uh, for land two will say length two width two land two it will take length two with two area two and it will get the length, uh, length uh, two then after that we have to display the information uh, for each uh, for each land and the way we will do that is we print it l1 to string and L to to string and then we give a space between that and the comparison and to compare we say if L1 equals L2 then then we say Then we say uh, the land.
abstract size is is equal else the land tract are not equal size so let's uh, let's check it out run it let's run it so enter length for land one so the length let's say 10 enter width for land one and say 20 enter length for land two 10 and width of 20 okay The land tract, tract length is 10 and the width is 20. Um, the area is 200, that's correct. Um, the land tract length is 10 and the width is, is 20. The area is 200. So the land tract, tract uh, size is equal. So let, let's say if they are not equal, let's test it. Maybe the first line has an 89 and width of 44. And this has 20, uh, 33 and width of 44 are not equal size as you can see I should maybe I should give a space I should give a space here so let's uh, let's run it again to make it more cleaner um, 88, 74, 74, 22. So the land attract length is 88, 74. The area is 65, 12, 74, 22. Area is 16, 20. The land tract are not equal size. As you can see, we compared we compared it uh, successfully for the two uh, land tracks. So try it out. Uh, it's really simple if you really understand what they're asking you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.